Hey traders, it's Greg. It's a little after one o'clock. Markets have been an upward grind since the open, other than a little dip here. And so I'm starting with the semiconductors, which I had mentioned. I believed that they would be the leader in this continued bounce off of that low. And they're currently coming up to the 20 MA, which was an initial target. There's been no stall as of yet. Uh, there's no resistance to the left. There is this congestion that's beyond directly to the left. But as I explain in the swing trading course, in the MTS course, that I view this as being neutralized somewhat. It's not that others will not use it as a reference point of resistance. And if you were to put, say, like a, a volume histogram on, on the left here, You'd probably see some resistance in that area. Let, let's take a look because I'm just, I think this platform has that on here. Uh, volume at price, I think it's called. Yeah. So it looks a little weird, but you can see, you know, right there. And uh, we'll see the validity of that or, or not. Uh, there's nothing to the left. Yeah, you know, that traded above and back below. So that's why I say that it's been neutralized. It's been used as a reference point of support, as you can see there, which it was. And then as it came down, it, it punctured through that support a little bit. It stopped at the pivot, the green dot right there, and, uh, and it continued lower. So now it's working its way up. As mentioned, it's at the 20. We'll see if it stalls there or not. Beginning to get a little red bar. That's not all that significant. It's only a five minute chart, um, but deterioration always starts on a, on a lower time frame. Um, looking at other markets, we have the S&Ps right at the 20 MA, starting to get a red bar there. Um, I mentioned in the room that we went long down here um, on this little breakdown. I explained at the time that the bar wasn't done to see if it would hold the open, which is the blue line. And he immediately reversed and we went long there. And over here, I just mentioned a little while ago that that was a sell for longs as this was a breakout bar extension bar and prices came all the way down. It didn't break below or close below the low, but at some point you got to say enough's enough as far as, hey, we got a good trade there. You know, that was up at the 20 MA and, uh, you know, lunchtime. And so it's gone a little further. And, and this little extension right here, um, point, let, point out here, this is, you know, we have the concept of a wide range bar igniting and a wide range bar ending. Well, wide range bars are a bunch of smaller bars in a, in a lower time frame. So here you had the igniting out of the base, and now you have an ignition after it's been trending up for, you know, a couple of, two, three hours or so. So this is going to be a wide range bar in a higher time frame, let's say a 15 minute, and that'd be a wide range bar. And now it gets a little extended from the 20, you got a red bar, probably done for today. There's no reversal on the daily time frame. It is between the 50 and the 20 there and coming up to that resistance. <clears throat> so we wait to see if it's gonna stall or what it's gonna do. Q's at the 20 MA. Also at some resistance, it had the same extension, suggesting the, the end of the move. Uh, XLF, which had been the weaker, so far it's just an inside day. It's still the weaker. It's below yes, yesterday's high. And we'll see if this wants to give it up or not. Uh, in the afternoon here, you can see on the 65 minute chart, it's retesting that pivot. And so there should be sellers here. And Ideally, this daily bar will turn into a red bar closing at the low, maybe below yesterday's low. We'll see. If it continues to go sideways here, that would be considered bullish price action, like I explained over the last day or so, uh, as the 65 minute was going sideways. Notice the volume there. Now that I've got it on here, I usually don't look at it, uh, but just for some educational purposes, I put it on there. Notice it's the biggest volume spike over there to the left. In any event, We've got that reversal there on the 65 minute. Um, and so as that retests that, that area, we know that there's going to be sellers and we'll see how many sellers actually show up. IWM, the laggard, and it's green on the day. I also pointed that out down here as a 
questionable buy setup, somewhat questionable. It was on support, but it was retesting this pivot, and that's advanced nicely as well. That's up at the top of the range. Odds are it won't get much higher than and it is now, especially at we get into this lunchtime area. Like I said, it's already after 1 o'clock, but hey, it should stall. The Dow has also been a laggard. It's advanced as well. You can see the same advance here, suggesting the end of the move. Uh, it's at that pivot to the left and where it broke down from. So this is a good area, give or take, where it should attempt to roll over. And we will see if that actually occurs. And what else? What else is doing great or not? Well, technology, you know, semiconductors dragging it up there. But that's leading the way, doing well. Also at its 20 MA. Consumer discretionary reversal. I'll turn back up. And uh, hey, this was another one that reversed strongly yesterday, and now it's turned back higher, higher again. So we'll see if this is a continuation pattern. It does have a void, so this will be one to keep an eye on to see if it can hold on to its gain or not. Uh, healthcare continues to recover, and I mentioned the weekly time frame the other day, which we have here, which is that bottoming tail bar. Uh, so as it comes up to these pivots, we'll see how it deals with that and see if that bottoming tail bar can carry through um, from last week. You know, materials has been has been a laggard. So there are pockets of strength. Uh, one of my previous comments was what led the way down should lead the way up. And that has been the case. Um, still hasn't reversed. Technology, of course, led the way down. It led the way up. But the concept is those that get further extended during a correction, when a bounce comes, they should attempt to outperform and those that were stronger money will rotate out of those into the laggards and that's exactly what happened so we'll see how this evolves in, into the end of the day and as always if you have questions email me greg at master trader and dan at master trader